Hey, Alex. Hey. Got a question for you. What's that? What is the best time you remember having in Peterborough City? Oh. All right. So it goes back to maybe 2018. And it's in March on St. Patrick's birthday. You're painting a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Painting the picture. It's in a bar called the Pig's Ear Tavern. Oh, that's open again. Yeah, so it was closing night, I believe, at the Pig's Ear Tavern, and they were doing some ridiculous deal on pitchers. I think a pitcher of beer was five bucks or something nuts. So, of course, me, me and my buddy were, were obviously having a couple of pitchers, and I think we got 10 or 15 pitchers. Don't worry, we didn't drink them all. But we were handing them out to all the different guests at the bar. And there was a fella called Washboard Hank. Oh, I know. Yeah. So for those that don't know, Washboard Hank is sort of a local legend around here. And if you're ever in Peterborough and you ever get the chance to see Washboard play, he's just fantastic. He's got a whole bunch of different sort of bells and whistles for his gig. Um, one, Obviously, he's got a washboard that he wears and plays. And then he's got like a horn that he kind of honks as well. And, but he also is just a fantastic musician, and he plays sort of old country music and kind of has his own uh, songs that he writes as well. Anyway, Washboard Hank's playing at the Pig's Ear Tavern on St. Patty's Day in 2018. It's closing night. We're handing out pitchers, and Washboard's playing. I'm having a good time, and he's playing Neil Young, Johnny Cash, and sort of older style country folk music. And I'm up front, and he's there with his band, and I'm singing along to every word. What happens is he leaves for halftime, and he's sitting, and I go up to him, and I see him. And he asks me, and he goes, hey, I saw you were singing, like, all of the songs. And you're singing all of the, the Johnny Cash and the Neil Young and all the songs that I was covering, but you're not singing along to any of the originals. Like, And we start talking. We start talking about music, and he starts telling me stories about Neil and I guess he's had a couple times with Neil where he's been hanging out with him, which is so cool. And he ends up giving me his card and says, Hey, you should come by and we'll jam sometime. So I ended up emailing him. Uh, I might've been a couple months after when I got the nerves to, uh, to shoot him over an email and yeah, I ended up going over to his house with my buddy. We brought our guitars and we sat around his living room drinking beer with his wife and she played the mandolin. He brought out a steel guitar like we probably jammed for two, three hours in his living room and just did covers back and forth. He'd do a song. We'd do a song. His wife would do a song and we'd all sort of join in and jam. And that was, yeah, that is by far my favorite memory in Peterborough. That's freaking awesome.